Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So I recently come across this rather interesting blog post on the AMSAT UK website, letting us all know about an SSTV, which is slow scan television experiment, which will transmit from the International Space Station from the 8th of October to the 14th of October. Now, the reason for this experiment appears to be the ISS testing their new radio gear and configuration. Now, this is by transmitting 12 different images over SSTV. Now, there is a website where you can submit your own received images, which will help those ops evaluate the quality of their new gear and configuration. Now, on that website, you can also view what other users around the world have received. So if you miss any of those 12 images, you can still take a look there. Now, the transmit cycle is typically two minutes on and then one minute off which should, in theory, give you enough time to receive at least two images as the ISS passes overhead. Now, that's assuming that it's not constantly on the horizon. However, this will depend on the type of antenna system that you're using. The frequency used will be 145.800 using FM modulation. And of course, their call sign will be RS0ISS. The SSTV mode will be PD120, but most SSTV decoding packages these days switches to the correct mode automatically as soon as it detects an SSTV transmission. Now, there's many ways in which you can receive these SSTV transmissions from the ISS, but I'll show you now what I'm going to be using. Now, the hardware which I'm going to be using will be my tri-band vertical antenna, which is mounted above the roof of my house. Now, one of the bands it covers is the two meter handband, so perfect for this experiment. Of course, if you have a satellite tracking system for the VHF band, you'll probably get better results. But my static vertical does appear to work quite well. Now, I'll be using an SDR receiver from SDR Play, and then the software on my computer will consist of GPredict, which is used to track the current position of the ISS, and also provide information such as elevation for its current or future passes. GPredict also has a radio module which will control the frequency of an actual radio or of an SDR software package. Now this will compensate for Doppler shift as the ISS passes through the sky. Now the SDR software here that I'm gonna be using is the latest nightly build of SDR++. And I just need to make sure that I have the narrow FM modulation type selected. Now using a virtual audio cable to route the audio output from SDR++, we route that audio to an application called MMSSTV. Now this software is a free downloadable application from the internet, and this software will convert those SSTV audio sounds to an actual image. And if you haven't heard what SSTV sounds like when it's being transmitted, this is what it sounds like. Well, at least for PD120. Now while those SSTV signals are being received, you will start to see the image appear within the MMSSTV software. Luckily, this ISS pass lasted around 10 minutes for me, and I was able to receive and decode two of the 12 available images. Now on the bottom right corner of those received images, you'll notice a number. Here we can see that I've received two of 12, and then three of 12. Now, if you want to give this a try yourself, then you've only got until the 14th of October, which is this coming Monday then I believe their radio gear will revert back to the APRS system. Anyway, guys, I hope you find this information useful. And if you do go ahead and try this yourself, let us know down in the comments below how you're getting on with it and also which type of antenna that you've been using. Until the next video, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.